Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I'm the series Strategy Game and we are returning to Let's Play of Command in the South China Sea and things are about to heat up um, as we are about to strike the Chinese flotilla here with the first air naval assault and that's going to be a, an incredibly interesting one because I have no idea what's going to happen. So let's just revisit our forces. What we've got is we've got this group of four super hornets here. They are carrying a couple of uh, basically harpoon uh, missiles, eight of them, which we're going to target at these guys. Range is 150 miles. I should actually uh, do the surface range here. So you can see we are about um, a little ways out. We are about 280 miles away. They've got a range of 150 miles. We are going to come here, we're going to launch, and then we're going to turn around. Now, the issue is we don't really have enough fuel to make it back home to Singapore. Singapore at this moment is more than 800 miles away. We need to close in by 120 more or so. So that means in about 15 minutes, we'll be at the launch point. Sorry, 16 minutes, we'll be at the launch point. Uh, and then from that launch point uh, until we hit the enemy, it's going to be 15 more minutes until the missiles arrive. Our guys will need to turn around. It's probably going to be a thousand miles or so that they need to travel home. We've got a couple of tankers that are refueling in between here. Um, so that should hopefully help out there a little bit uh, once we've launched these missiles. Maybe we can be a little bit um, running on less fuel as well. But I do think what we should do is, is get at least one more of these tankers airborne. So let's have them take off. They, they're going to come here. These guys are going to be covered by these other two Super Hornets here, which are carrying anti-radiation missiles. They're going to be more on an overwatch. And we've got two more aircraft here. Uh, both of these are Orions. So at least this one is an Orion. This one is a... Poseidon. So both of them maritime uh, control craft, they are already within range. Let's see what we can do over here. Now I want to try to overwhelm these guys because we don't know how many anti-missile capabilities they have. Now one thing I want to do is I want to fly one of our Tomahawks which is actually aimed at these uh, Paracel Islands here but I want to fly them over this group and see how they're going to react to that, whether they're going to try to engage that or not. If they do what we could do is we could also take our surface group here, specifically the Tomahawks, and we could target them again at this facility and have them again fly over there, hopefully timing it in a way that they will be overwhelmed by all of the missiles that are going to fly around at the same time. I want to do one more thing, and that is our submarine here. This guy can actually already engage these guys over here. Oh, I do need to actually change the doctrine here because what we need to do is we need to go for the kinematic range of torpedoes and that is at least for manual launches we're going to change that so that means that now we can fire that uh, torpedo but of course there's some issue with that and that is that these Mark 48s they're pretty good they are the heavy torpedoes of the uh, US Navy and they can travel relatively far 27 miles but that also means that um, if we are launching at them now, I think they can run around 30 knots or so. So that means our effective closing dist uh, speed might actually be only 20 knots. Uh, and that means they can basically run out of our range. But I think if we can overwhelm them with all of the same power here at the same time, uh, we might find that kind of useful. Now, the more immediate thing that is going to happen is down here, we are going to try to engage this ship, which is pretty close. This is a sort of stealth missile um, boat that is close to our destroyer. Hopefully we're going to be able to engage it with our shipping. You know what? You guys can probably go to cruise speed, close in a little bit more aggressively, and we're going to see what's going to happen there. In between episodes, I also noticed that this guy here has completely escaped our attention. I don't know what that is. It seems to me like this could be a passenger aircraft. 490 knots, 36,000 feet. It could be. It could also be something uh, more nerfious. So we'll need to keep an eye on this guy and see what he is going to do. Uh, one more thing that we should try to do is I want to pull in one of these tankers here a little bit closer to the front line. Um, specifically for this harm group here. These guys are already running low on fuel. So um, I'm very concerned about them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch you guys up over here. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to briefly switch to unit view and have you guys um let's actually go back to group view so that's you okay fine right so let's actually detach this guy here from the group so that we have two aircraft now and what i want to do then is have you 
go also to group doctrine here and have tankers refuel tankers so you're going to be allowed to refuel from tankers and we should be able to now say we can't say that now can we okay what about if we're doing that over here as well so unit group doctrine let's say refuel yes allow that should be okay now shouldn't it okay can i do that now i cannot why i thought i would be able to have you tank from tankers I would hope that, that we could do that. Oh, well, anyway, so let's go back to group view and have you come also somewhere over here just so that we have something in there. Right, and uh, let's resume operations here and I guess we can accelerate it a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna expect the engagement down there in, a, in just a moment, um, but that should be okay. Um, I guess we can pull these guys in a little bit. So let's come over like here you are set on loitering. I'm very concerned about you, actually the most, um, of all of our ships. We've also got a maritime patrol craft here. We're going to send them in closer so we can time up uh, the assaults there. But let's see what is going to happen. I guess we can go a little bit faster here. Oh, there's a launch, and I guess that's the tanker down here, uh, which is fine. We're going to bring you up here as well. Are you on cruise speed and everything? Yeah, at least you should be. Right, let's have you launch there. Right, you are pretty close now to these ships. You guys are coming in, so soon, 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 we will be able to launch. But it is going to take a, a moment at least. You are dangerously close to that, to that ship. But I expect that in just a couple of seconds, we're actually going to see the first shots being fired here, I guess at least. Notice he has changed course there slightly. And I think that might be an indication that he has spotted us. So let's see. Come on, guys. Can you engage him? You've allocated quite a couple of the under 27 millimeter shells, but you're not hitting him now. Oh, there we go. There you can see a couple of shots being fired. And that's good, because our destroyer for now is in the front. I did use the formation tool, so these guys should be coming towards over here. But let's see what is going to happen right. Um, I'm guessing we can go on a slightly perpendicular course here. We don't need to close in further. I think that's going to be all right. And there we go. First shell hits, uh, or first hits in the vicinity at least. Haven't scored a hit yet. Not as such, as far as I can tell. Weapon end game? No, 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 you're all missing. That is not what I like to see. <laughs> and we haven't really seen anything here. Right, so, okay, there, there's some hit here. We've uh, at least got light damage. Um, so I'm guessing that's a first good thing there. Okay, you are reloading now, that's fine. Right, okay, let's simply continue. So you've got light damage, that's, that's okay, that's good. That's a good first start there. Oh, 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 what is going on here? Okay, that's just the Tomahawk. That's fine. You're now very close here within range, so I guess we can go back to creep speed. We're closing in with them anyway because they are running 50 knots. They must have spotted this, this thing here, but I don't see that they are using radar. Now, they don't technically need to because one thing that we should keep in mind is if we look at these guys, if we look at their setup here, one of the interesting things is that the 100 millimeter gun here no sorry the 30 millimeter gun the uh, this is basically a closing weapon system uh, to defend yourselves against any like missiles they can actually be directed by the generic tv camera and they do have a tv camera uh, which does allow to target things like this so that is kind of interesting to see i think right Further shots being fired down there, so you've reloaded your magazine basically, and you're firing at this guy again. He's still running pretty fast, 24 knots. As far as I can tell though, these guys are not using their radar, and they're not engaging our Tomahawk at all. Which is interesting. So we don't need to be too concerned about that. Well, speaking of though... Okay, we are seeing a surface-to-air missile now. 
That's interesting. I don't know what exactly you're launching at. Whether it's the Tomahawk missile or whether it's maybe one of these uh, airplanes here. We're still not within range, but we might very well be. Now let's hope that it's it's aimed at the Tomahawk. We've got a couple of things here happening at the same time. Yeah, you did shoot down the Tomahawk. Okay, so that does mean that we probably want to try to use Tomahawks against you at, at the same time there. Right, we are hitting you here, so that's good. But we will need to do further, I think. Right. More heads down there. Yeah, I think you're being roasted here by just the sheer volume of fire for the 127mm gun. So that's really nice, and that is, I think, ooh, more missiles? Now that is interesting because I did not expect that. There's a further missile here. Where is that missile going? Where can it be going? It could come for the Tomahawks. It could come for the harm. If we are using the air weapon range, we are definitively within their range. So you know what? We're going to fly, try to fly out of that range because I'm afraid that these guys are aimed at us. Um, I'm guessing we should try to pull in the Global Hawk closer, at least somewhat. Where's this missile going? It must be going towards the, the harm equipped aircraft here. Does that mean that you're now emitting emitting radar emissions? No, you're not doing that yet. Interesting. Almost seems like this guy's flying to the left there. We don't know exactly where he is because we've basically spotted him from this helicopter, which might likewise be a target. Or it could have been a second, you know what, I think that's that's what it is. It was a second missile aimed at the same Tomahawk. So they aimed two missiles there, uh, one of them hit and the second one just sort of ran out uh, before we spotted it. Right, we are 174 miles or so from target. And I think I've tried to estimate how long it would take us. And I think that is pretty much exactly the time that we are looking at here. So what I'm going to do now is again attack the sick inside here because why not? You know what? We can probably uh, just shift it around these. No, no, it's just the sick inside. Okay, fine. Um, let's do a healthy dose of Tomahawk missiles here aimed at this guy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull all of them such that they're going to basically fly exactly above the enemy fleet. I'm not really trying to do to hit the enemy here. I'm really mostly trying to distract these guys. Right, so let's pull off all of them over there. That's going to be all right. Come on, you two. How many are these? I think still some are traveling in the wrong direction here. Yeah, you guys are. And you know, to them it will just look like there's a couple of missiles coming towards them. Uh, which would be a fair assumption, but it just isn't the thing. Right, another surface-to-air missile. Where's that? Oh, it's over here. Interesting. Okay, so this guy is now trying to engage our Tomahawks. Well, that wasn't the idea, but it's certainly interesting to see you do that. Mm, okay, let's uh, allocate a lot more ammo. Because we really do need to take it down. Now, what we could try to do, of course, is try to hit him now. But I don't think that's really a wise idea. Right, you are not anywhere near where I want you to be. And why are you going so slow, by the way? Is that your cruise speed? Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. Let's try to close in a little bit more aggressively here. Um, you are coming in too. That's, that's, oh no, that's, that's correct anyway. You're coming in there. That's okay. Fine. Let's. Do it now. The question is: At this point, I think we have about 18 minutes uh, from launching against these guys. Question is: Should we be launching our torpedoes already at this point? Well, honestly, you are pretty close for comfort, so I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to launch torpedoes at these ships. Now we can fire four torpedoes here at the same time. I want to allocate two to the main threat. Uh, I want to allocate one to you. And uh, one to you. Not sure exactly why we can't get a fix on, on the guy there in the rear. But it should be okay. So let's see whether we can hit them. We are not... I mean, this is this is 
just trying to overwhelm their capacity to, to deal with all of the threats at the same time. There's a limit to how useful that truly is because these weapons, they have very different ways to try to avoid these weapons. Um, missiles and, and torpedoes, you just have very distinct ways on trying to deal with that. Right, um, let's see whether these Sams... I, I'm guessing they're probably just down there, aren't they? No! No, we see... No, 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 sorry, that, that is exactly where we thought it would be. It is down there, it was just jumping to that. I guess I explicitly told it to do that. So you have already uh, shot down two of our two of our tomahawks there, but that's okay. I mean, you're trying to overwhelm us with fire on on stuff that really isn't going a good aspect ratio. I mean, they're coming in behind us, so it's not a head-on collision. It's not you know coming in from the side, but they're gonna draw out of fire, and that's really nice because we are reducing his ability to fire at um, anything more serious. How many of these missiles do you actually typically have? So that would be the HQ-8, eight missiles or so. That's a very low capacity. And I think you've must launched, you probably did launch around nearly all that, that we basically have here. So that is interesting. Okay, uh, let's start allocating some missiles on these guys here, uh, just so to make their life a little bit more complicated. And of course, what we're going to do is again, we're going to uh, assign more to the high value target. So I'm guessing two of you guys can launch exactly against that guy. And two of you are going to pick um, one of the other targets. And everyone is, of course, going to fire all of their missiles at the same time. Right, so that's good. That does give us some indication of what's going on here. Um, I did not actually pick whether these guys should be running fast or slow. They seem to be running fast, so I suppose that's okay. You know what? Um, can you go to slower speed? Get a bit of an extra range while they're coming in here. We are running 65 knots or 50 knots. These guys are... Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. So they have just turned on their radar, which I think is, is exactly what I expected them to do. So you've got surface-to-air shoot range. Now that is extremely interesting because you guys should now be able, these guys with the harm missiles, to also fire at them. And again, that's exactly what we're going to do here. So two missiles on this guy and then one missile on each of the smaller guys, please. Right, we are going to have you launch right now. You are trying to jam us, but that is not a very good idea once you're targeted by harm. Good, okay, so you have launched. You've now got an 800 kilometer range. That is not going to bring you home, um, but... What we are going to do is we are going to try to come directly against uh, this direction here. And I want you guys to go military speed, very low altitude, to try to get out of here. Because that is exactly what you will need to do. And then we're going to try to refuel from someone on the way. We are burning a lot of fuel here uh, doing that, especially with the military speed. But again, if we can outrun their missiles, they have probably launched against these aircraft, right? If we can outrun them, if we can drop below the horizon, I think that would be fantastic. Whether we're going to be able to do that, I don't know. You guys need to... What are you doing? You're, you're increasing in altitude. That is not what I want you to do. I want you guys to lag it as low as you can. Okay, something is wrong here. What are you guys doing? Why are you not... Okay, let's unassign you. And again, I really want you to, to stay low. On plotted course. You've, you've got, you've, you are set to, to minimum altitude. You are set to do that. Then why are you increasing? On plot, of course. Why? 
Why? Why though? That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, we are seeing our first missiles being launched here, so that's that's fantastic. You are pretty much 150 miles away there. That's lovely too. So what we can do now is have you guys... I guess you're just going to wait a few seconds here before you guys are also going to launch. By the way, how are you guys doing down here? Can you actually like engage him much, much more aggressively? How about the other guys? You've got 57 millimeters. I, I think they are way too small and, and that is to me the big thing about the LCSs. Um, they just they just too small. They they just just don't get that um that range. You know what? Um, you guys can also go to minimum altitude, please. And I can't help you if you're not doing. Okay, now you're diving down. Maybe you're just uh, sort of maneuvering there. That's that's fine then, I suppose. Right. How about this group here? You've got one missile left. Okay, there we go. Now you should be. Let's ignore that for a second. Um, you can go home now. You've got 700 mile radius. That is not going to be sufficient, but fine, we're going to go that way. By the way, where's that other airplane that we did see here? We've also got this airplane up here, which I would love to take out, but... We need to fly around them uh, 200 miles away. I don't expect that that would be... Feasible. This is this is an extremely high value target. Right, okay, first first order of business, you guys, you're gonna come home. That's fine. You're cruising altitude, that's that's okay, you're outside of the engagement range of anyone. So that is okay. Right, uh, then let's check this missile. It's 140 miles away, and this guy is currently how far away? Well, slightly closer, but only slightly so. So, you know what? Let's actually have you briefly run in this direction. And then likewise, as we've done before, we're going to set some targets here. Um, one of them is not going for the surface-to-air missile, but one of them is going for this target here. Um, and one of them can go for the other. They do have some certain re-attack uh, capabilities, so uh, that's going to be alright. They will hit some other target if, uh, if the first one misses. Right, and then you guys are coming in aggressively. That's okay. I suppose that these guys are going to try to attack us. Yeah, look at that. These two missiles are now clearly coming for these two aircraft. Um, I said two missiles. It's a lot more than two missiles. But here's the good thing. Um, if they are trying to engage our airplanes, they will have some issue here trying to hit our harm missiles. And as I say that, they are all being shot down. Well, that is disappointing. Right, all of them actually shot down. All of them. Every single one. Wow. That does not bode well for us. That does not bode well at all. You're still on that mission? That's okay, at least. Wow. They, they really took us out hard there. Right, nevertheless, uh, you are outside of their engagement range, so that is, uh, let's say, a good good thing here for us. So, I suppose you guys can go back to max altitude, please. And that should give you a lot more fuel reserve. And you've got quite a couple of missiles there, but... I suppose if I were to group, group operations... No, not formation editor. Let's go to Uniview. And let's pick the second guy here. Let's detach you from that group. And then what we can do is we can bring you around this engagement envelope. And you're going to try to engage that uh, guy over there. I'm very concerned about the fuel situation, obviously. But hopefully, at the very least, we can take out a high-value target. And just skim home on the last fuels. And again, if we launch these missiles, 
we're going to be in a slightly better position there, so that should, should, should be okay. Uh, I'm very concerned with, by the fact that I do see that some of them are using their air surge or or um, the red indicates that this is a guiding radar, fire control radar, as opposed to just a general one. That's obviously not good for us. Right, someone is jammed up here. So you are jamming, are you? I think you are. Okay, but you're flooding pretty badly at this point, so... Are we still engaging him? Yeah, we are. Just need to reload. Okay, that's that's fine though. Right, lots and lots of missiles coming his way. And very, very interesting still to see all of these torpedoes coming his way. You're the one that is uh, going 50 knots. That's okay. I like that idea. Um, you've... I think you are... Why are you wiggling like that? Seems to me like you've might lost uh, your target acquisition there. That would be a concern, so um, maybe if we could get you to go back to at least some low altitude, maybe you've uh, lost track there of these guys. That's why we've lost precise position. Is that it? Maybe, I don't know. We're certainly seeing that they're engaging something, but I can't tell what that would be. Pretty much this is the only thing that is within range. This guy's being completely torched here. And the uh, LTS just couldn't do that. So that at least is a good thing for us. Uh, oh, you know what? These missiles can fly in right straight at them. No issue with that. Right, you should also be able to engage this soon. You guys, okay, so... Your, your base is sort of just within range. You'd be you'd be just able to get home, but sort of really on the on the last fumes. That's like a four mile four mile issue there. So yeah, that's basically a no. So what I am going to do is I'm going to ask you guys to refuel from this gentleman there. You don't need to do that for long, but you do need to do it. You guys, on the other hand, have certainly not sufficient range. So. I am going to ask you to refuel from this tanker group. This is a tanker group. They're doing relatively fine, so that should be okay. Yeah, I think so. You're coming home. That's okay too. So that is all very lovely. Right, so you're still trying to skim around there. Very concerned about your range, but still, if we can get the J8 there, that would be so fantastic. It would also be fantastic to just take out this entire group here just with the torpedoes. Uh, but still, all of these slammers here are coming in 100 miles from their target. These guys are traveling at uh, 570 knots, so... I don't know. 13 minutes or so, give or take. Right, and then we've got these guys up here. This guy is at this point dead in the water, so that is also good to see. All of these tomahawks are screaming over them. We've got these two slammers coming in, lovely. You'll soon enter engagement range, uh, but I'm fairly confident still that you'll be able to turn around. And that should be okay too. Right, I guess we can go a little bit faster here. Well, it would be so lovely to, to get them with the corpse. I think their their anti-air range is is pretty pretty darn good, so not much we can do about that. Well there was something someone down here, so let's actually turn on our sensors here on this guy and see what we've got. Yeah, see there is there's something. By the way, where's our global hawk? Oh, it's down here. Right, um, let's come down there. I think we've got a good eye on, on things there. Uh, how about your sensors? Yeah, okay, your radar is operational. That's good. I'm concerned, slightly concerned about that airplane down there, simply because we didn't really check it out. Mm, you guys need to, need to go away a little bit further here, I'm afraid.
Try to try just try to stay out of the range. Oh, by the way, notice how our torpedoes are now homing in. So probably our torpedoes here have the best chance of attacking them. Uh, by the way, also notice how one of them has uh, go gone for a different target here. Um, another Sam. Let's jump to that location. Okay, so lots and lots of Sams here, and here's something uh, very, very critical. We are seeing a helicopter. That helicopter, that's a big, big problem. Um, and that is a big problem because, uh, well, first of all, you guys, go low. Um, that is a problem because that isn't very, very, very likely to be an anti-submarine warfare um, patrol. You guys um, have sort of wandered deep within range here. I, I did not expect that, but... You know what, let's actually check for, for what has happened here in the weapon endgame. So, fail to spoof. So we have achieved a hit on the destroyer. We don't know how serious of a hit that was yet, but I would be thinking that it should be pretty darn um, strong. So, you guys here do go go for loitering speed, much slower for second here, please, until we know whether these missiles are coming for you. And yes, this is a Z-19, and it's a oh, beautiful, beautiful uh, aircraft, but very dangerous, very dangerous fire submarine that is operating here. Now, there's only a limited amount of things that we can do to engage him, I'm afraid. Our engagement range. I mean, we could try to operate here with the with the Super Hornet, but I'm I'm skeptical whether that is a good idea. All right, you're coming home. You're coming home, but, or refueling? Are you not set to refuel? Hmm. Let's see. Right. You guys are coming up there. Let's see how these torpedoes do first. Okay, all of these missiles are now streaming on the Tomahawks. Okay, that's lovely. That's that's very good because that at least means that he's going to be slightly preoccupied with the Tomahawks while our slammers are coming in. That's good news. That's good. That is good news for us. Uh, well, one of our torpedoes here has evidently missed. Um, they need to now turn around and re-engage him. But I was hoping at least that we would be able to observe some damage here on this guy. Unfortunately, that does not seem to be the case. And you know what, in that um, case, let's actually start with firing our missiles away here and hoping to achieve some more hits. Alright, there we go. All of these harpoons should be launched relatively rapidly now. I mean, this is not the most... Uh, it's not the best platform to, to be fighting this kind of war, but still... I think it's good. Yeah, look at all of these HQ-9s being launched here. Right, uh, your harpoons are done. Do fly away, please. And uh, lag it. Right, still a lot of engagement down there. You are on your offensive. Yeah, that's okay. This guy still hasn't sunk, which is interesting. These guys are coming down there. That's okay. Oh, and it seems like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Contact change. Sam vanished. But I'm thinking... We're not seeing that. But that ship, I think, has gone down. I think that ship... I think the destroyer was just sunk. And that is lovely. Now, a lot of these uh, things here will need to be retargeted. But still, that is a that is a fantastic result. And that actually means that their anti-air engagement range has dramatically decreased. And that in turn means we can uh, cut a little corner here, which is fantastic. So that's lovely. And um, let's actually accelerate slightly here because I know the episode is slightly longer than usual, but we just want to know how this turns out, don't we? So let's see how it does. Also, why are you still around? And that helicopter, I would love to to kill it, but it's not that much that we can do. Right, hopefully we're going to be able to engage him. There are more missiles coming in for Rocky Island. All of these missiles are now streaming in. By the way, I think this is something where we do want to 
uh, take a take a view here with the three D viewer. Tax check. It's it's awfully expensive to try to buy that. That's not a normal functionality of the game, but um, you know, it's, sometimes it's worth it. It's just sometimes. Um, let's focus in on this guy. No, no, that's the hawk. I don't want to focus on the hawk. Let's focus on maybe one of these missiles. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this missile is coming towards this guy over here. Okay, so we've got you. There are a couple of slammers coming in from from the direction from over there. We've got a torpedo coming in from under the water from behind you. We've also got further missiles coming in from behind you and some from the left there. So you're really being engaged so from all directions here. But uh, look at these. Look at that. There are a lot of torpedoes. Uh, there are a lot of missiles here down there which are being shot down and some of them in the rear here too. So their anti-air defense is still incredibly effective here. Very, very effective in fact. So they can they can take on a beating here. In fact, yeah, look at all of these guys flying out of existence. But still, there's at least the torpedo that is that is aimed at this guy. Um, and you know what? We can actually, I guess, at least I would love to change your come on, plot and course. Uh, throttle. Come on, can I not select you at all? Okay, fine. I apparently can't. That's okay. At least we did sink the main ship. Look at that. They defended incredibly well against all of these threats here. That's incredible. That really is incredible. Still, we've got one torpedo in the air. We've got this little bugger there. Okay, we've got a better fix there on this aircraft. Now, we do need to do something about that, that guy down there. Um, okay, you know what, you guys, you're pretty much over this uh, the ship there, but that's fine. So you refuel with possible manual there. Go. Why don't you go there? You are allowed to refuel. You are allowed to. You guys do have refueling capabilities, don't you? Yeah, I think I think we refueled you on the way coming in, but I'm not sure why it doesn't change the status there. Likewise, you guys, you don't really have the. Oh, because I I did disallow that specifically for you at one point, didn't I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no. You're allowed to do that. You, my friends, are allowed to do that. You're very explicitly allowed to do that because otherwise you're going to go down. <laughs> so let's... Come on. Doctrine, not allowed. Allow. Yes. Thank you. That's going to be all right. Okay, you guys do refuel if possible manually from that guy there. Yeah, okay, now you're doing that. Fine. Fantastic. Love it. Okay, and likewise, refuel manually from this guy. Yeah, okay, now you're doing that. Fantastic, good. Okay, that is an issue. This guy is coming in directly towards us. So we will need to, out of weapon range, um, no, 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 do, do come over here. And you, my friend, um, don't go to creep speed and go just go as deep as possible. And you try to engage that helicopter, please. Um, you don't have a firing solution, and the reason for that is you don't have your radar active. And that certainly can be fixed, though. So that should also give us a better fix on... Ooh, there's actually two two guys over here. So, interesting. Now, let's, uh, let's first try to target you. I did I did hope to, to use that missile on something else, but... Okay, you're now being jammed, but I think soon you'll be able to get a fix here on this target. I would hope at least. Yeah, you're being jammed by these two guys. Oh, that's annoying. Right, I can actually target you with one more torpedo here. Go ahead 
Okay, there we go. That's the first missile against this helicopter there. Which, again, is a high value target, so I'm not too concerned about that. Well, the big question is do we want to maybe pull you guys back in and try to engage the other guy then? Because we need, we really do want to protect our submarine here. I would also love to take out these guys. Ah, I know it's a long episode, but we just want to, to deal with them. Okay, you've actually fired your second missile there. That's that's okay, I suppose. You're still trying to provide target elimination here. That's okay, but just don't wander into that envelope here. So, okay, he has, I think he's spotted the torpedo more than us actually. Or he's just homing in on the last known location. Really hoping that we can take him out. Nice. Good work there. I'm hoping that you don't break the cable here to these uh, torpedoes so that you still have the guidance. Come on now, just come on. Do take him out. Otherwise he is he's probably dipping at this moment. Yeah, okay, fine. Fantastic. You are returned to base. Uh, why are you not returning to base? Cruise. Maximum altitude. Go to base. Okay. Are you going to base? I think you are. You've got a 900 mile radius. Um, again, I think we need to go to the doctrine here and at least allow you to refuel. Yeah, you are. So that's fine. You are going to try to come down here. Oh, look at that. There is some civilian aircraft here. Interesting. Okay, guys, come come down there. Refuel if possible at some point there. And then you're going to be alright. Good. Torpedo is still homing in on this guy. It's so tight. Um, by the way, why are you not continuing to engage here? can't quite make out the difference between these two fuses, I guess. Well, let's, uh, let's allocate a couple of each. Right, I, you know what, guess 20, 20. We really do want to bring him down. Right, torpedoes incoming, all of you guys still flying around, that's okay. Um, let's come closer there. How are you guys doing? You are refueling, that's lovely to see. You guys will be refueling down there. That's okay to see. You guys are coming closer here as well. How much fuel do you guys have left? A lot. So that should be okay. Right, more shots being fired down there, I suppose. Yeah, good. And how are we looking on this torpedo here? Come on, just, just how close are you? Ah, you've missed. Too bad. Uh, but you know what? The submarine can actually go back to can actually go back to periscope depth. There's no threat nearby. You're being paranoid here. Okay, you are traveling home. Good, good, good. How are you doing? Seven hundred miles. Hopefully we're going to be able to bring everyone home. I'm, I'm slightly doubting that, but it's also okay. Oh, you know what? He's actually wandering within our engagement range of the destroyer. Again. So yeah, he's not going to survive that. But notice just how little our air attack has actually done. It was mostly really... Yeah, there's a missile being targeted at him. That's okay. Don't need to bring up another plane then. Um, and you can target him with another torpedo, please. Yeah, I think since we did manage to kill both of these helicopters and shoot down the destroyer, I think these smaller vessels might be able to have a helicopter land on them 
they do not actually uh, they are not actually capable of uh, supporting a helicopter so that means they're kind of unlikely to actually have more than the ones that we've already seen right you would have the sidewinder we could come there but you know what i think you're better trying to lag it home uh, which is still over a thousand miles away yeah lots and lots of issues here how far are you away you are 950 miles i bet you would be able to do that you know what, let's wait until he is at, at a thousand miles and at that point we will be able to send him home. So, just on a sign and bring home. Oh, you're actually going to increase because you were just uh, hovering behind that guy. Yeah, 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 you are well within range now. We did, we are probably going to be able to shoot that guy down. Yeah, we are. Fantastic, I like it. Yeah, and you are well within range here. Oh, why are you going cruise speed? No, 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 don't go military speed. Just go cruise speed, please. I would not like you to. Well, I suppose if you can get home at this speed, there's no reason not to. But still, yeah, you know what? If, if it's 100 mile that you've, 100 miles is fine. If we've got reserves of 100 miles, that's that's going to be all right. Okay, and you want you guys, you'd be out of stuff, so let's refuel. Assign to base, returning to fuel point. Yeah, okay. Maneuvering to refuel. Good, I like it. That's exactly what I want you to do. Right, this guy is still afloat, uh, but <laughs> we didn't pay for, uh, attention for one second here, but it looks like uh, the second torpedo has actually impacted that guy. So at this point, we have sunk almost all of their ships, and I think that is a very good success. Uh, and I don't want to put it over 15 minutes here, so I think that was a very good place to put in a cut. So let's uh, see how that turns out next time around and uh, see what strategy we're going to develop for the rest of the game here. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Do leave a like and see you around next time.